ladies and peeps. Get your balls ready for the ultimate Magic the Gathering showdown. It's not LSV versus Owen Turtonwald. It's not Gabby Sparks versus Merchant. Those Colossus. That the internet couldn't handle such a game. This is the this is just the glory of everything. The King of Magiques, Doctor Bum Cheekingtons versus the longtime Squire of Magiques, Covert Go Blue. For years, years we battled each other across multiple planes and formats and consoles and in real life and with everything in between. But it, we're going to renew our battle for dominance. There's only one king of Magiques, you know that. But if I lose all my games, I'll, I'll just pull a Noxious and say that I got uh, I, had, I drank a monster energy drink and I'm tired. You know, he's the easy way out. If I get smashed, I'm doing a Noxious. If I win, I'll gracefully just put back on my suit of armor, zip up my balls, back on the horse, straight into the sea. Because that's where I live. All right, ladies and peeps, hold your shit. Okay, ladies and peeps, in classic, classic Dr. Bum Cheeks bullshit uh, standards, uh, I didn't have my hard drive plugged in. But we're, we're all on board. We're rolling. Oh, he's in trubs. He's in trouble of us now, ladies and shits. All we needed was that extra land. And we could start laying the slaps. So, that's, that's a dangerous color combination. I could be undone by by anything, really. Uh, if he bounces, bounces my fountain, I'm in trouble. Uh, any singular sacrifice thing is not tweaking my uh, my beans. All right, do I run into a sealer way? I think you have to go for those for the slaps. Mm -hmm. Maximum slapperage. So if you didn't know, ladies and peeps, uh, me and old Covert Go Blue are long-time maritime comrades. We served in the Gulf Sea against, I don't know, Admiral Hebelibajibs. And then when we got back to shore, uh, we started playing Xbox with each other. And I used to slap his balls all, all day long until he just got so sick of it that uh, he caused the red ring of death on his own console. Yeah, that's what happened. But we reconvened, what, four years later on the PC? And once again, the king of Majiks is just laying down some casual slaps. At least he, ladies and shits, for those of you who don't often watch, the amount of times uh, my phylactery licks have been uh, I'm gonna hold on to this for a minute actually we're gonna play because that card's probably useless uh, is it gonna block we'll see I'm actually using it nah, there's a chance he's got something bigger but at the same time lick my ass I ain't about efficient play I'm about silly bullshits the treasure map's not bad So he needs a sacrifice thing, otherwise we're going to smash it. Yeah, we've been playing a long time together, ladies and peeps. You may or may not know this. Did you see? That was the problem. That was the problem. All right, so if I find it, I've got two shots to find something equally good. That's, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to take it. So I get, I'll get rid of this. Also, the CGB can guarantee the man lives up to his word. Playing the sexy weird decks that we all dream of playing in free play, but uh, that we don't actually get to play outside of the freeze. It's, a, it's an unfortunate world we live in, ladies and shits. This is the kind of games I want to play every day. Where, where are you seeing this? Where are you seeing this? Nowhere! You pussies. <laughs> this is what I want to play all day long. All right. I'm guessing he's just out of spaghetti. 
just for the funds. You, 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 you never know. All right. Once again, ladies and peeps, the king of Manjeeks is putting Cobra Go Blue back in his place, which is in the barn with the horses. The squire of Majiks, ladies and peopleingtons. <sighs> also, this gives me completely free reign to lose every game from now on, which I suspect might happen, because Cobra Go Blue is a good player, and I am just a big mouth. But that's the last self-deprecating bullshit you're going to hear. Now... It's just full on blaps. What's everyone else's favorite deck? I think everybody loves this. Nice and random. Anything can happen. That's what I that's, that's the best part of Majiks. Anything. So, hold your balls. I'm gonna keep this too. I get to go first two two games in a row. It's not really it's not really fair. Okay, I hope that we are not in for a four and a half hour <laughs> life gain schmigglebob. Alright. Strap your balls in. <laughs> Maybe. Uh nah. All right, okay. Hopefully he doesn't have blow up all the enchantments while mine are still more relevant than his. So, if you haven't seen this deck before, ladies and shits, turn four, you get the enchantment that puts any permanent. Oops, that was a mistake. I didn't realize it was my turn. So, if it's, it wasn't there anyway, so it wouldn't have made any difference. Doing this in this order is still shit. There we go. So. Let's do the mathematics. I think I can do it next turn. And if I run into a blow up all the peeps, you fucking suck my balls. So, one, two, three, four, minus one. So, three, four, five, six is not enough to play four and then four. But we'll get him next turn. I'll keep this one too. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Like I said, not enough. Yeah, what, what do you think about this, Egypts? Come on! Thran temporal bullshits. Magic, ladies and peeps, is the greatest game in the world. If you play someone who is also like minded, if you just play in the same boring, is it shit? Rub my dick non-stop. So, he's sufficiently tapped that I'm getting one unimpeded Gishat slam. That means... That means a lot of peeps off the top. So, first things first. We'll try and put a peep on top. I do want this. Just in case mine gets blown up. But there are more. And it's it's a bad card to have on top. So, as ever, we roll this dice. Hold your balls. Top seven, if they're all dinosaurs, they're all mine. Two. Two will have to do. Hmm. Alright, so I am wary of blow up all the peeps. I don't play Cleansing Nova. So I can't blow up all his enchantments. There is a solid chance I could get shmeet properly. All right, so we're up to dangerous mayonnaise. Hmm. Hold your beanbags. What have we got? All right, what's well, all creatures? That's fair enough, I suppose. So that's also acceptable in the context of this game. I don't need any more lands. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Soldier balls. So, 
At the end of this turn, I'll put Itali on the field because his ability is very sexy. Then we'll put Zatalpa and then an Immortal Sun. So my strategy curved out perfectly, so I'm happy about that. I would say his has as well, which I'm also happy about. There's no, there's no glory in just steamrolling someone. How much? 45 cards to go. All right. So, like I said, Zatalpa is indestructible, which would avoid a lot of problems. But Itali also steals one of his permanents. Which tweaks my balls nicely. I could play the Immortal Sun first. I don't want to. Land and land. That's, that's poor. So I assume he has seal away or settle the wreckage. Okay, that's also fine. So the, the, mm, he's going to be drawing a lot of cards. Two Zatalpas plays around Cleansing Nova. And seal away. So he'll need two settle the wreckages for singular Zatalpas. Which is, you know, not bad. Unless Ixalan's binding, then I'm fucked. If he's got an Ixalan's binding for this, I'm also in big trouble. Alright, so we'll put this on the field this turn. And then during combat, I will also put... I'll draw a card this time. I don't think I need any more. I like to keep these in reserve in case I ever get to the point where I have to hard cast uh, sexy dinosaurs. So Zakamas are good. Because they blow up enchantments. I don't think I'm going to need to settle the shits. Somehow. I also don't feel like I need any druid of the cows. Alright. <laughs> so settle the wreckage on a one dude. Okay. What am I getting? I don't think it makes any difference. So, exactly exactly the same thing next turn. Uh, he'll need another settle of wreckage. And then we'll just we'll just keep wanking our balls. And <laughs> we'll see what happens. Man, I fucking love this deck. I don't think just never I hate decks where you feel shortchanged like your strategy is X and then they've got Y and it just always falls to shit this does almost everything it kills weenies it smashes control as long as you resolve this obviously but you've got four chances and nobody knows exactly how much damage this does because with Gishath it's all about rice and peas so, I wonder if there's a way to shuffle his graveyard into his library. Elixir of Immortality style. Alright. That's fine. I don't play any Planeswalkers. So. Zatalpa on the field. How much mana does he actually have? He only has one. So, in theory, Galta would do more damage. It is just one mana, right? One. But then cards are discounted by one. So, let's just still use this. Alright. This is... Six. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just going to hard cast this. And then I can still use these to either draw a card or put this on the field. That's what I want. So, sell the wreckage. 
uh, I suppose Excellence Binding as well are the only things that are going to tweak my knobs. Yeah, I know Kobo Go Blue is not a Bumble Squat, so he knows what he's doing. I would have suspected there was a chance he may have had a seal away. Maybe I should have worked harder to find a Gishath off the top. Hmm, that's another uh, potential play I could have made. Either way, we'll see. This game does seem like it's going to drag. But it's, it's at least we've both got Immortal Suns. Speed the shit right up. If I draw Cleansing Nova, which I don't, I don't think that I play, so I don't know why I'm even bringing that up. All right, that's not great. <laughs> that's not great at all. All right, that's the last one of those I have, but we'll keep that quiet because if he took my Thran Dynamo, I couldn't do anything. I suspect he also has more Seal Aways or Blow Ups, so that's probably the end for me. But you gotta fight on. Sometimes. Or well, sometimes you could just get your ball straight out the door. Alright. Another I don't think he's got seal away. I don't think he's got seal away. I'm not I mean, I don't think he's got settler wreckage. And as much as I like going kamikaze McShits, uh I think if I play this and then I get three dinosaurs and then they all just explode. I don't think that's I don't think that's a good play either. So we're gonna take it nice and slow. We'll put this on the field at the end turn. Attack and we'll just rub our balls. All, all the balls rubbins. Okay, so it looks like he doesn't have what he needs. Or is this just next level psychology schmeeblage? I don't know what I have in this deck beyond sexy dinosaurs. So I don't know if... Gisha, Zakama, I mean. Zakama. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus, alright, so if I find Zakama, I can just cast it and then blow these up. Did I draw a card there? Has something gone wrong? I feel like I've made a mistake. <laughs> I feel like something's gone wrong. Alright. I'm pretty sure I bollocked something up somewhere. We'll play this. Right. I can't... I don't know what happened there. I feel like I sacrificed a treasure without getting any cards, which is just, just something I would do. Anyway, let's see. He needs Seal Away, Settle the Wreckage, or Elixir of Immortality to shuffle his graveyard back up his bum bums. Another reason why Ixalan's binding this was a uh, was not great is because I I don't cast anything. I put them on the field. So if you're going to bind anything, it should have been this. But I sort of suspect he did that on purpose so that we can have a decent game. Destroy your creatures. All right. Okay, we're going for the win next turn. We're going for full slap bangs. Itali on the field now. Gishath, hardcast, and we're going to try and smash him. All right, we're all on board. Of course we are. It's very greedy. It's very greedy to do that. All right, I don't give a fuck. Hold your bollocks. This is a lot of sexy potential incoming dinosaurs. I don't want to take that, unfortunately. Now, hold your shit. Oh, down to one. I don't play any direct damage. All right, we'll take this for sure. Now, we'll start blowing up. Shit.
and assuming he has blow up all the peeps, uh, I'll blow this up and get my sexy dinosaur back as well. Oh, just for geeks. This is pivotal jeebles. So I need to consider two cards. If he plays blow up all the peeps, then I just immediately get this back. Easy. If he plays nothing and there's a chance for settle the wreckage, then I think I just run into I think I just run into it. Because th my Zatalpa would be exiled either way. getting hairy. This is getting hairy balls. We will be need of a waxing in a minute. So this is my only chance. I need this to uh, be fine. And I need this last card not to be see, uh, settle the shits. All right, those are not great draws. The fact that he hasn't sacrificed his shits makes me think there is a very good chance he does have another settle the shits. But my Zakama also has vigilance. He didn't have it, I don't think. Nope, we got it. Schmiegled my balls. That was a decent enough game. No one's moaning about that. So, now I presume... I presume we're going to ratchet the deck level up slightly. Not me. Those are my best decks. <laughs> so, uh, what do I want to pick? Green-blue ramps. This is a very slow... He took a long time. I fucking love pirates, though. All right, we'll play pirates, and then we'll play green ramps. That's my jams. Much more scope for a misplay in the pirates deck. Yeah, that seems good. Turn one up to get look for a land. Hopefully, this isn't any kind of. Uh, still got to be lands. There we go. Hopefully, this isn't any kind of mono red explodies. All right, that could also be very bad. What do we got? Mar the multitudes. Gift to paradise. Pause for reflection. All right, nobody likes this. So we'll get rid of that. So let's think here. Turn for this. I don't think I destroy it. It's not an en it's not an artifact because I can steal artifacts with the hostage. Right, there's a carnage tyrant that I can't do anything about. Do I just play three things? I'm going... I'm going to... It seems stupid. I feel like I can't really... Do anything else. So, as much as that looks crazy, I, I don't think he's going to play any creatures. That's why I did it. So, I need three peeps. Alright, it's just the plan didn't work. The plan didn't work, ladies and shits. I needed to get more pirates on the field. Uh, Alright, that's a better plan. Never seen no fire, no steam. So, I can, I, again, I can see why you would think, why are you exiling your own peeps, Dr. Cheeks? My plan was to exile this, then play it before he got to play Carnage Tyrant, and then hope 
that I top decked Admiral Beckett bullshits and then steal steal his Khan. But that obviously can't work. So shit is, is all I can say to that. So I can cast this. Two, four, five. I can't even kill this. Fuck. No fire, no steel. Ah, deary, deary shits. So I think I attack with this anyway. There's no feasible way of getting out of it as I, that I see. It's, it's just race. My only other hope would have been to have a blocker big enough. To block that and then fiery cannonade. Because fiery cannonade wouldn't damage any of my peeps. Now, do I want to... I'm going to just risk. I'm just going to risk. Getting into a race. Oh, just baguettes. Pause for reflection is a bad sign. One, one single fog. And I'm probably in the shit. All right, that's a bad draw. And this is not a race that looks like it's something I can possibly win. Mm. Mm. March of the Multitudes is not a problem in the slightest because they've got Fiery Cannonade. But also Admiral Beckett Brass, which is a nice failsafe, doesn't work because the Carnage has Sex Proof. All right, all right. Hmm. So if we get a minus on the kite sail, no. Let's skip to the good part. Hmm. What do we think? No chance. One card left. There's the woman over the Ababru! Hold your balls! As long as this isn't fog, I'm ferrying a man's ball bags. Hold your dicks. Hold your dicks. This is what it's all about, ladies and shits. Hold your dicks. Hehehehe! <laughs> Suck my balls! I mean, taking this is probably better, but fuck it. Who's not stealing a Teferi when they can? You gotta believe. You gotta believe in your own shit, ladies and peeps. <laughs> Admiral Beckett Baps. My favorite card in all of Magiques at the minute. You gotta play to your outs, even if it means exiling your own peeps. But it also played out properly in the end. I played this because I had a feeling there wasn't gonna be any targets. And that turned out to be true. Rack em up, son! Cheeky but cheekatons. <laughs> Man, I hope CGB's not getting mad because this is like some friendly bullshits. So, so let's see what we got next. Mm, I did say we're playing this. Slippery nips afterwards. Thran blow ups. Everyone loves a blow up all the lands. Everyone does love a blow up all the lands. So, with this deck, ladies and peeps, uh, the plan is blow up all the shit. This is, doesn't do anything that I just said. But I'm going to keep it. Alright, it does exile graveyards very nicely. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good draw. So... Um, it's, what does this do? Let's read this. Put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard, and you may return a creature card from your grave to your hand. Return all land cards from your graveyard to the battlefield, and then shuffle your library into your grave. It's always a good sign when you're reading your own cards, like you don't know what they do. Right? Of course it is. Okay. Alright, there's a win condition. Hopefully no Ixlan's binding on the lantern. 
Now let's have a look at this. So you can bring back creatures that cost X. Primeval Rebirth. You've got to believe this deck is right up my balls. I am a big, big fan of the Rebirth style of deck. Not that I built one because I don't own enough cards. Don't need that. Alright, now the question is, how long do I tickle my own balls? Right, they're all going to blow up. They're all blowing up anyway. So, I think you just take the least amount of damage. And don't fill up his graveyard. Alright, now we've got Maximum Dildinis. I'm play let's let's we'll play this first and then play this. Hopefully, draw a couple of cards. Uh, I can't really exploit this as it stands, but I'll take it anyway. It's, it's also fun to see decks that I want to play, but don't currently have the mental ability to get them to work. So, I'll remember this one. I'll remember this one for future Shmeeps. That's a superb draw! Couldn't have, couldn't have asked for any more. So, we'll play this. Evolving Wilds draws me two cards. Stick that in the pin. Now, I can't... I'm not going to let my Tatty overdie this turn. Because I want to draw two more. I want to draw all the... I want to draw all my bolts. I might Ixalan's Binding this really put his mana base under the shit. So... I'm going to... I'm going to let all of this happen. Because I need Tatty over to stay alive more than I need it to do anything else. That's not a good draw. That's also not very good. So, we'll play this. I have to do it. I mean, we're closing this game out nice and tight. So, shit on my balls. Uh... I can't... I can't afford to not block this time. What are we ditching? Two of these is one too many. So we're blocking this time. And then we're blowing up all the lands. So, it's, it's only two. I think it's going to be fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I got three mana to cast a Wayward Sawtooth. But it won't have the City's Blessing anymore. Because it will be blown, blown up. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm only blowing up lands. So, this does work. I don't know if that's the right play because he only had three lands and I had six. But, <laughs> oh no, oh no. I really hope, I really hope he's not getting angry because that was just some clumsy bullshit. <laughs> oh man, stay on the king of the jigs for a reason. All right, what are we playing now? I'm not going easy. I'm not going easy and then be like, oh, let's play this because it's the shits. Nah, 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 nah. I, he's a man, he's a grown man. He knows what he gets into when you challenge the King of Magiques. So, we'll go for Omniscience ramp. Everyone loves being on the end of Omniscience. Of course they don't. So, 
So, that is very optimistic. Suck my balls about it, though. <laughs> ah, we'll see. Star of Extinction. All right, we're getting lucky. If there's one thing you can guarantee is that if I start a game with a Sulphur Falls, you're not playing Is It Drake's. So I think I ramp into a Sunbird's Invocation. I can't cast that, so I'm not going to keep it. That's a shame. Our first... Oh, you fucking bitch. Although it's still true that I couldn't cast it, so... All right. It's ramp v ramps. I shouldn't uh, use that one after what I just saw. There you go. Suck my balls. So I can blow up his land, which I might do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to blow this up. And he's not going to be happy about it. But we're going to laugh. So that's what, it, that's what matters. Actually, let's let's redo the number wangs. I it didn't stop. I swear I put a stop on it. Okay, I will take this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it cost all six for this. I don't care. You have to try it right. Of course you do. So anything bad could could <laughs> could go wrong. This is the land I'm targeting to be blown up. Is that the plate? Or do I just look for an omniscience? That's a good point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we're going omniscience. Hold your balls. I think he might also be going omniscience. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he'll also he'll also have access to Omnibobs. And I don't think we can have that. I'll lose. One, two, three, four. I'll lose I'll lose a lot. I'll lose a lot as well. I think he's going omniscience, and you're not gonna come back from that. But then if I get to cast this first, then I blow up two lands and draw seven cards. All seven of which I can cast for free. I think it's just too sexy. I think it's too sexy a play. If it if it blows up in my face, so what? Alright, there's two of those. Actually, yeah, fuck you. That was a mistake. I meant to choose the fucking other thing. Whoops, it daisies. All right. Nice. All right. So I feel like I might be getting omnibapped. So let's think. I, I'm not cashing in all my fucking shit. So, we'll just do this for a nice solitary one manies and just hope for the best. Storm the Vault is how I win with this deck, if anyone was wondering. I should have taken green. So, this is the pivotal turn. I think, I think he's going to have Omniscience. If he doesn't, I absolutely should have kept Overflowing Insight. But there is there is two more in the deck, and there's only one of these. So, uh, we'll see. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's got the full ten. Hold your balls. Hold your balls. It's still ten manes. Mm -hmm. 
I'll be a gentleman and I'll let him fully exploit the omniscience schmeeblage. All right, that's a shame, but it's also it's also not omniscience. So unless he's got a counter spell, then I don't really mind. All right. We'll see where we stand on counter spells. <laughs> I mean, CGB knows that they're not my favorite thing in the world. Storm the Vault, shit. All right, I want another Storm the Vault, please. Maybe I should have blown this up. I think that was a mistake. I didn't. I forgot he had one. All right. Mm. So I don't know what else was on the top of that thing. I wasn't looking enough. Storm the vault. If you're wondering why Storm the Vault, and you haven't seen me use this deck before, you take Storm the Vault because in theory, it produces 11 mana, and then Banefire for 20 is uncounterable. Blow up all enchantments. Not going to be happy about that. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Oh, dear. So, we still got two Banefires in the deck. So we'll have to we'll have to hope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven mana is not not nothing. So what do I actually have? I'm not sure. I got three bane fires. I know that. All right, we'll start off small. We'll just go for multiples of seven. What? No, no, no. I think that's silly. Because I might end up finding all the things that I need. I might not. So let's think. I feel like I've lost a lot of things that I want. Anyway. So, Pirate's Pillage is good. Don't play any more lands. Okay, I take that back. It's got another expansion, ex swanction. Just thinking about it. So, I don't have many lands left. So I don't know if it's worth casting. I also should have had a look through my own library. Because, I, as usual, I don't know what's in my deck. That's usually a hindrance, isn't it? Not knowing what's in your deck. All right, the pillage. That's the, that's. The, I'm gonna have to throw something worse than a bane fire, though. <laughs> that's a really good card, but I can't win without this. So I'll wait till I draw anything worse, and then I'll play this, and then I also get another two draws. All right. I don't have any white, so. I think I think the time has come to cut your losses and assume I can't blow up all of his enchantments. Expansion. Expand the man's balls. Nope. All right, River's Rebuke. That'll teach him. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. He loses three draws. That, what does that do, though, really? What does it do? Nothing. He doesn't have any permanents. It doesn't look like he's ever had, gonna have any. Alright. He does get to replay a gift of paradise. <laughs> Fuck it. Plus he only gets two. Two extra draws because of this. But so what? 
Oh no, if I think it's expansion, then I fuck this right up. <laughs> Interesting. He didn't go. This is interesting. I don't know what's going to happen. All right. That seems bad for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A full ten again. He's got to have omniscience now. What do you what do you play with all of these things? Maybe it's just one huge of weenies. Could it be one huge weenies? I don't think it is. I think I probably lose to multiples of these. <laughs> it's like we picked the same deck. Except he knows how to use his, and I'm just floundering around like a maniac. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play Sulphur Falls. On the off chance I draw another So let's look at my deck. Let's see what we got left. Lots of elves, that's bad. Pirates Pillage one, that's fine. Storm the Vault is probably too late to, for me to have any shits. Two opts, whatever. Grow from the ashes are dead. Lanawar elves are bad. Three anticipates are alright. Another river's rebuke seems worthless. Another omniscience! Another Omniscience and an Overflowing Insight. So, it doesn't look good. doesn't look good. <sighs> so let's just do the full number wanks. I, I just can't. I just can't. He only got nine cards in his grave. I got 18. I'm twice as shit. Alright, so that's the end. I gotta win next turn. It's possible. It's it's still possible. It's not it's not possible. So draw seven is what I'm looking for. That's definitely the last thing I want. That's also shit. <laughs> it's also shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve lands. So I could black myself for eleven. Try and get this game over with. But I think he can just kill me with the uh, expellables. So, one, two. I'll say, just say two. There. I think he can just finish me off. Okay, is that an instant and a sorcery? No, it's just an instant. I was thinking both sides may be different. So, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 manes. So, literally, any X burn spell is the end of old Dr. Bum Cheeks. Shall I be. Shall I, shall I pretend? Shall I text him and say, Oh, I don't want to play anymore. I'm finished. My, record, my recording got corrupted. <laughs> ah. He's on the board! <laughs> He's done it! Man, these games, this is what magic is about, isn't it, ladies and shits? If anyone's watching this video with their arms crossed and go, this is boring. This is, I want to see more Boros mythic ranking grinding. You need to rub your balls all over your ass. Well, there you go, ladies and peeps. I hope you enjoyed that. That was pretty good, right? Everyone knows I like CGB, and that's why he gets the grace of being able to appear on my channel without me calling him a fucking shit stain. Because I don't think he is, for reals. For reals. There's someone out there who I think is all right. Uh, what else? Am I, how much am I wrapping this up? Obviously, let's just be, let's be clear. He could, he could have picked a much better set of decks if he wanted to. But, you know, it was for the entertainment value. So, you know, I'm sure you, you understand too. Anyway, eat my shit. I enjoy that. And I'm the king of magics. <laughs>